welcome back to the channel. My name is Tippy, and I'm here with Leo. This is your second video you've ever been in. If you missed the video where we introduced him to everyone, I'll put the link on the screen. He is a little sleepy right now and he did not want to stay down, so he's gonna be in the video with me. Today, I wanted to make a video talking about my absolute favorite products that I use during pregnancy and after pregnancy. So I have a list compiled. Everything will be in the description and feel free to jump uh, to the timestamps below. So if you're new here, this was my first pregnancy and I tried a lot of different things. There are some things that I didn't end up using at all. Let me know if you want to see a list or a video for items that I did not end up using, but here are my favorite items and we're going to be starting off with a wedge pillow. So I really didn't take advantage of the wedge pillow until my third trimester. That's when I started having trouble sleeping and I tried the full on like weenie body pillow and that really didn't work. I had tried another like wedge pillow that is supposed to help you like lay on your side, but the one that I absolutely loved was this like little cheese wedge looking pillow. So not only did I use this pillow during the third trimester, but I also took it with me when we were driving to the hospital, super uncomfortable. The only thing that saved me was this wedge pillow because you literally could just like wedge it and lean on it and it was just great. I really loved it and I would recommend it. I'm gonna put links in the description if you wanna purchase any of these. I just got most of the stuff off of Amazon. So yeah, I feel like the wedge pillow has helped me get some sleep during the third trimester. So next up on the list, I actually like lived in these during the third trimester and that is oversized t-shirts from Target. So I had ordered some maternity clothing and I had maternity leggings that I was wearing for a while that were really comfortable. But after a certain point, like I didn't want anything hugging my body and I just felt like these oversized t-shirts that I found from Target were perfect. I just bought them like two sizes bigger. So some of them I bought in large and some I bought in extra large. I like the way the extra large look. And I thought the designs were super cute too. And I ended up actually laboring in one of the shirts and I still wear them. Like, I don't know. I didn't want to spend a bunch of money on maternity clothing. I wanted something that I would be able to wear even afterwards. So definitely look into uh, these shirts. They were super affordable. I love the designs and the colors and I don't know, it was just something about a good oversized tee. So I also had a favorite pair of maternity leggings that I wore throughout the entirety of the pregnancy, all three trimesters and even the fourth trimester, I've been wearing them. Um, and they're from Fabletics. I got two pairs of biker shorts and one pair of just like long leggings. And I like these because you can like essentially grow with them. Like you can roll them down and then they're just, I don't know, they're really comfortable, they're flexible. And the best part is, is there's pockets. So important for me to have pockets just so I can carry my phone with me when I'm like doing things around the house. But I really did love these leggings. I only had the three pairs, so it really kept me on top of doing laundry, which was really nice. <laughs> But yeah, I just loved the way these leggings made me feel and it kind of, you know, kept the belly a little under control and gave me a little bit of support with not being too tight. Oh my gosh, he fell asleep. <laughs> Hold up, I gotta put this in my app. I've been tracking his sleep. We're gonna get to this app in just a little bit. So that's the majority of items that I found really useful during pregnancy. This next item I use during my labor and postpartum and that is always diapers. <laughs> I never thought I would see the day where I wear diapers, but wearing diapers while laboring was so helpful just because there's like, you know, a lot of fluid coming out. I had a long labor, four days, so I went through quite a few of these and I even used them postpartum as well just because um, I had an emergency c-section and there was a lot of blood that was coming out. I also had switched over to the Freedom on Mesh undies which I really loved. I had got some mesh undies from the hospital that they give you and you put a pad in to absorb all of the fluids coming out but they're very thin, uh, they're not very cute and <laughs> Um, I don't know, I really wanted to try something that made me feel a little bit better because um, it was a long recovery for me. 
so the Freedom Mom mesh undies, I would say, were well worth the investment. And then I just put like a really heavy duty pad in the mesh undies and depending on how much fluid's coming out, you can put like a light pad or whatever. But I don't know, I just thought that these were awesome to have, especially the diapers. I even gave some of my extra diapers to my friend because I was like, girl, you're gonna need these. <laughs> take my diapers. <laughs> so next up is a list of things once Leo was born. The first thing on the list is going to be a co-sleeper and we initially didn't plan to have him sleep in the bed with us. Uh, we had a bassinet or we have a bassinet that we had bought like <laughs> a long time ago. Was really excited to use it but then after the c-section i could not even get up out of bed like it was so painful so since i had to stay on bed rest i couldn't really get up uh it was just really easy to have him in his own little bed right next to me and it was just easy to pick him up for breastfeeding and you know just to spend time with him after the cesarean i was feeling pretty sad because i couldn't carry him i couldn't hold him in certain ways so just being able to lay next to him and have him with me and stare at his little face made all the difference i know that there's a ton of different brands out there but the one that we had found did the job we just put like a little muslim cloth uh, swaddle to line it because i didn't really like the patterns and it did its it did its job and he got some really good sleep in that huh leo Oh, he's getting hungry. I gotta hurry up. So next up on the list is a baby hug me pillow that I use for nursing. Um, I had to do the football hold so I couldn't have him across my body because of my incision. And this little baby hug me pillow was a lifesaver. I still use it to nurse him and I don't know, I just really like it. It's like a miniature version of the long hot dog uh, body pillow. It's just a, a tiny one for him. But I really loved that product. I still use it and have gotten some really good use out of it. So definitely look into that pillow if you're looking for a breastfeeding pillow. So I knew that I was gonna be breastfeeding and I had bought a ton of different like nipple creams and I had found this one that was just an organic one and I just like the name. It was called Nipple Crack <laughs> and um, I loved it. I had just applied it every time I was done breastfeeding and honestly, it was so moisturizing. Like you didn't have to wash it off before feeding him and it's all natural. So I really, really loved this product. Uh, I am almost done with the bottle or with a little container, but it has saved my bosom <laughs> so much pain. <laughs> so I, I don't know how the other creams are, but this one really worked for me. And yeah, definitely get a cream. Another breastfeeding product that I really love is the Hakka. Um, I actually ended up ordering two because the one that I got, I didn't get it with a lid and a lid is essential. I don't know why they sell it without a lid. Sometimes at night, like before he wakes up, I'll have some leakage and just pop both of them on before I'm, while getting ready to feed him, just so I don't have, you know, milk all over my sheets. But what I really like about these is they are hands-free, it collects the downfall, and it has a little bit of suction while he's breastfeeding, it collects the milk, and um, I just didn't wanna get a pump and pump a lot because I didn't want to become super engorged and produce a lot of milk. So this just really works for me because I don't have to have like a big storage of milk since I work from home. So I can feed him on demand, which is really nice, but I love the Hakka. So another portable item that I really love and swear by is a portable sound machine. So this is the one that we got. I can't think of the name off the top of my head, but this has been amazing. We literally could just hook it on to like my backpack or we hook it on to his car seat or a stroller and it keeps him knocked out. We have a sound machine that is in the nursery, but that one's not portable. So, you know, something small that's just easy to pick up, move around, put in your bag or whatever. Um, definitely love this little sound machine. So this next item might just be because I had the C-section, but I could not live without 
a peri bottle so they give you one at the hospital and it's just like a little squirt bottle there's nothing wrong with that one but i just you know wanted to have nice things <laughs> so i got the freedom mom bottle where you actually if you turn it upside down uh it will it has like a little nozzle that comes out and it squirts upwards so with the other ones it like it doesn't really work when they squirt upside down so this one was just super helpful because you know it's just the little things that you don't think of having the luxury of this peri bottle that can squirt upside down you know made me feel a little bit better after giving birth and i honestly use this bottle every single time i went to the restroom so it was a very very helpful and i also read online that you can use it to clean the baby um because leo has a lot he's a chonker he's a little chonky peanut butter so he got rolls you gotta clean under the rolls. So using a peri bottle to squirt um, is just an easy way to clean. So he's passed out. Another thing that I really liked was these nighties that I got from Target. Um, what I like about these for postpartum is that they have buttons in the front. So it's really easy for breastfeeding. It gives you easy access to just like boom bam you know like wearing a t-shirt doesn't really work when you're breastfeeding because you got to take it off but um it's just one extra step it just makes it easier you know anything to make your life easier when you're a new mama just do it these were really inexpensive i would recommend buying the dark colors because i did buy the mauve color and it got a little stain from my my nipple crack <laughs> and also if you have any downfall uh the darker colors hide it better so you know you don't want to walk around with just you know milk markings on your boobs not that nothing's wrong with that you're at home wearing it but you know just to feel a little bit a little nice so the last thing on my list is an app and it's for tracking your babies, like feeding, nursing. This one is really in depth. Um, it The list goes on. I haven't even used really a lot of these. I just use like the diaper, the nursing, the sleep, and then notes for when I was taking medication because it was just nice to have everything on a schedule. But this one that I use is called Baby Connect. This one is not free. And the reason why it's not free is because it links up, like you can uh, share it with other people so hubby and I are on the same account and if you have like midwives or you know a pediatrician that you want to share it with so that they can see uh, what your baby's habits are and schedule is they're able to connect to it so I felt like this was really helpful it's been helpful to know you know how long he's been sleeping which I have to log this got to do it dang it <laughs> when his last diaper change was when his last feeding started um, it's just a lot to keep track of especially um, when they're newborn like first couple weeks you have to make sure they're pooping and peeing a certain amount so super helpful to have that but I'm sure that there's a lot of other apps out there that are free this is just the one that I use if you have any suggestions feel free to leave a comment below to help all the other mamas out there uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this list this video there are so many videos out there of like must-have items for pregnancy but honestly when I was pregnant there was just so much stuff to do and to watch and it just became overwhelming so I wanted to create this list for those of you who've been following along with my pregnancy journey and who have been you know following the channel and are thinking of having kids one day because these are definitely things that I have learned over the course of the pregnancy and the labor and being a mommy oh my gosh I'm overheating he runs so hot and I think he needs a diaper change <laughs> I can smell you. As always, if you're an experienced mama, feel free to leave any comments down below of your must-have items. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Sending you all my love. Check out some more videos on the channel. I'll put some on the page right now. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. See you later. Bye-bye. Okay, now the struggle to get up with him. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Ha <laughs> ha.